dear students in this section we are going to learn how to calculate force on a dipole placed in non uniform electric field suppose a dipole is placed in uniform electric field here you can observe this dipole is placed along the electric field lines that means the dipole moment vector and electric field lines are making zero degree angle this is the negative charge of the dipole this is the positive charge of the dipole in dipole charges have equal and opposite magnitude separated by a small distance electric field is e that means the negative charge will experience force in the leftward direction it will have the magnitude qe and positive charge will experience the force same magnitude that is qe but in the rightward direction that means net force experienced by this dipole will be zero that means translational equilibrium condition also net torque acting on the dipole in this condition is also zero that means rotational equilibrium condition now what happens if we rotate dipole at certain angle like this theta degree with respect to electric field lines the dipole moment vector is making theta degree with respect to electric field lines here here also we can observe the negative charge and positive charge both will experience the equal magnitude force but in opposite direction that means net force on the dipole will be zero but net torque on the dipole will not be zero that means dipole will be in translational equilibrium condition but not in rotational equilibrium condition but one thing is common in both scenario that is no force experienced by the dipole now we can say no force experienced by dipole in uniform electric field now let us place the dipole in non uniform electric field like this you can observe here at position of the negative charge the density of the electric field lines are less and at the position of the positive charge density of the electric field lines are more that means the electric field intensity at the position of the positive charge is greater than the intensity of the electric field at the position of the negative charge that means the force experienced by the positive charge in the right forward direction will be greater than the force experienced by the negative charge in the left forward direction that means in this condition dipole will experience net force okay that means we can say dipole may experience force if it is placed in non uniform electric field now let us calculate this force okay so for calculating this force we need to calculate the potential energy associated with the external field okay so let us write this potential energy and we have the expression for the potential energy for dipole placed in external electric field we have the formula u equal to minus p dot e this is the expression for calculating the potential energy of the dipole placed in external electric field p is the dipole moment and e is the external electric field at the center of the dipole okay and if we are interested to calculate the force because we know the potential energy is associated with the conservative field that means force acting on the dipole can be calculated by taking gradient of this electric potential energy like this so force on the dipole should be equal to negative gradient of the potential energy okay if field is one dimensional suppose vector field is one dimensional so we can write fx suppose electric field is only restricted along the positive x direction you can say x direction so we can write fx equal to derivative of u with respect to x negative derivative of u with respect to x so force on the dipole will be this one okay and you know u equal to minus p dot e so here we can write this is p dot minus minus will be positive because this is u with the negative sign and it is also negative sign so this will be positive value so the force should be equal to p vector dot e del e by dx and in i direction and similarly suppose we have the three dimensional field for three dimensional variation of the field we can write f vector equal to del u by dx del x i cap and del u by del y j cap plus del u by del z k cap okay now let us take few illustrations through 
upcoming illustration we are going to consolidate this concept so let us move to illustration number 1 in this illustration it is given an electric dipole with dipole moment p it is placed near a long line charge of linear charge density lambda as shown in the figure this is the dipole having dipole moment p vector this is the infinite long wire having charge density lambda per unit length okay and this dipole is placed at a distance a small r from this wire and here we need to find the force acting on the dipole okay so let us make the situation to the next page and we know if we want to find the force acting on the dipole we need to find the potential energy of the dipole associated with the electric field of the long wire right and we know the potential energy of the dipole and wire system is given by the formula u equal to minus p dot e right here p is the dipole moment of the dipole and e is the electric field generated by the long wire and we know this long wire will generate the electric field at the center of the dipole in the rightward direction like this this is the e vector you can observe here this electric field generated by the long wire and dipole moment both are in the same direction and we know the magnitude of this electric field also this is equal to lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon naught r okay now we can substitute the value of p substitute the value of e and we know the angle between these two vectors is 0 degree so here we can write p multiplied by lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon r multiplied by cos 0 okay cos 0 equal to 1 so this value potential energy will be equal to lambda divided by lambda p divided by 2 pi epsilon naught r this is the potential energy with negative sign and here one thing to be noted potential energy of the system is negative that means the system has the negative potential energy that means the dipole will attract over the wire there will be force of attraction of the dipole toward the wire okay now let us calculate the magnitude of the force as we discuss in the theory part the force acting on the dipole should be partial derivative of u with respect to r okay with negative sign so here we can write force between the wire and dipole equal to minus del u by del r and direction you know we can consider this rightward direction as x direction so the force will be associated with the i cap unit vector okay now we can make the partial derivative that means we need to differentiate this function with respect to small r you can observe here lambda p divided by 2 pi epsilon r are the constant term that means the derivative of r to the power minus 1 r to the power minus 1 have the derivative value equal to minus 1 upon r square so here we can write this term the derivative lambda p divided by 2 pi epsilon naught and this is minus 1 divided by r square i cap okay now we can rearrange this equation like this so this value will be p lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon naught r, r square i cap and as we discussed the potential energy is negative so force is attractive and we can observe here through this vector equation the force acting on the dipole is in the negative x direction or leftward direction so we can say the force on the dipole will be attractive toward the leftward direction dear aspirants sangez india has launched the new edition of our g advanced physics books please visit www.sangez.co.in to buy a copy you can also buy the books from amazon or flipkart